y'all. Is that not amazing? Are these not amazing? Really pretty color for color. <laughs> really pretty color. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got another haul and PR show and tell kind of video for you guys. So as usual, I'm gonna start with the haul portion, things that I purchased myself. Then I will let you know when we are kind of switching over into some PR stuff, if that's not your thing. So you will know when we're switching gears a little bit. So yeah, I've got stuff from a bunch of different places. The Balm, Merle Norman, Fiona Styles, Ofra, um, Benefit, no, not Benefit, BH Cosmetics, Black Moon Cosmetics, Inglot, Rimmel, just all over the place. So a lot of goodies to talk about. So grab yourself a coffee and let's jump into it. Okay, starting with the Balm. So they had a 50% off sale recently and I had some things on my list. Um, actually, this thing I didn't even have on my list. This was kind of a last minute decision, but I've been eyeing these two and thinking about them. I've been waiting for a sale, so finally just went ahead and jumped into it and got them. So, okay, I've swatched a few things here for you. So first off, this is La Bomba Volume 2 Eyeshadow Palette. So this is kind of, I picked the kind of more bluish colored one. I don't know why, I just, it jumped out at me. So that one I have swatched right here. So there are those. Then I got Balm Desert Bronzer and Blush. That one is right here. So it's kind of like a rosy sort of a bronzer. Really pretty. I'm excited about that because this one I've heard really good things about. So that looks really pretty. And then Meet Matrimony um, Matte Eyeshadow Palette. That's super cute. I really like the other one. Um, is it Meat Matte Nudes? The other one that's like this, I really do like that one. I didn't swatch all of them, but I swatched three different shades right here to just to kind of show you. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. Just swatching them, they feel a little bit um, gritty of a matte sort of texture, but um, I was swatching kind of it seems like a lot of times these kind of like burgundy sort of shades can be grittier as a general rule. I find that if like there's matte shadows, those seem to be the ones that are most likely to be kind of more gritty. Okay, so I'm swatching, I just swatched this one and it doesn't feel as gritty. So there's that one right there. So that's really pretty. Um, so I will either like swatch, um, put swatches on Instagram or do a video or something. So I'll definitely share more information, especially about the meat matrimony with you guys, probably on Instagram. Check there for some swatches. I don't know if you guys got sucked into this along with me when Sabrina did a video on kind of like affordable makeup products. She picked up some things from Five Below and these were two that she used and really liked. So I went over to Five Below and hunted them down. So this is the City Color Cosmetics Contour Effects On The Go. So it's a contour palette and um, I've used this a couple of times and this seems pretty good. I'm not like totally blown away by it, but for the price, I think this was like $5. It's, it's good for the price. So for $5, yes, I think it's definitely worth it. And then this little palette, this eyeshadow palette, this is Beauty Treats is all it says. There's literally nothing else on it. Beauty Treats and it was like two bucks. And this is nice. Like it looks like something you get at the dollar store, like Dollar Tree. But I mean, they're pretty pigmented. Not like crazy, not like Urban Decay quality, but I mean, it's a fraction of the price. So for a fraction of the price, I think it's good. And for two bucks, I would say yes, it's definitely worth going and hunting down. So five below, $2 for the eyeshadow palette, about $5 for that contour palette. Rimmel has a new Rimmel Kate 15 year anniversary limited edition lipstick collection out right now. I think there's like six different colors in the collection. I picked up three. Look at this gorgeous packaging. It's beautiful. Rose gold, amazing. So I got 55 My Nude, 56 Boho Nude, and 53 Retro Red. So this one right here is My Nude. So it's kind of more of like a peachy pink sort of a nude. This one right here is Boho Nude in the middle. That one's really beautiful. And that one on the end is 53 Retro Red. So that one is just a really fun kind of 
burgundy, purpley wine, sort of a red. Gorgeous. So I'm wearing this one. I'm wearing um, my nude. I really like these. I think for the price, they're so nice. I love the packaging. It doesn't feel super weighty. It feels kind of cheap and light, but it looks really pretty. It's affordable. They're just comfortable, creamy lipsticks. So I'm really liking these. And you guys know, I always get excited about limited edition drugstore collections. Really just anything new at the drugstore gets me so excited. So I think these are beautiful. And I got some things from Camera Ready Cosmetics. So they carry like the RCMA powder, they carry Ben Nye, Inglot, um, Morphe, just a bunch of different brands. So first I got the, the original RCMA Makeup No Color Powder. So I've heard a lot of people talking about this. This is one of Ashley's favorites. And it's just supposed to be like a nice, um, no color powder, like a setting powder. So tried this a couple of times and so far I really do like it. Um, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite powder ever that I've tried just on first use or first, you know, few times of use, but I do really like it. I think it sets the makeup nicely. I'm going to try it out more and give you guys more thoughts. And then I got some glittery pigments. These are so pretty. These are amazing. These are from Inglot. Um, two of these I got from Camera Ready Cosmetics and then one I got from Beautylish because Camera Ready Cosmetics was sold out of the color. So first off, these are the AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadows from Inglot and this first one is 111. Now I'm not giving these a fair shot because I'm swatching them dry. I don't have any Fix Plus in here with me. I didn't use a sticky base. So this is just on my skin. So these are even more amazing when you have something for them to adhere to. So this one is 111. Yeah, 111. This one in the middle is 115. Y'all, is that not amazing? Are these not amazing? If you like shimmer, yes. The third one, I'm gonna have to do a tutorial with this. This is gorgeous. This is number 82. Oh my gosh. That one is like a, like a copper with like some purple specks in it. Oh, that is so gorgeous. That's the one that I got from Beautylish. And then 115 is kind of like a champagne golden sort of a shade. And then 111 is kind of like a duochromey pink. They are amazing. And then also from Beautylish because I was trying to get up to free shipping and I also had a credit somehow. I don't know how I had a credit, but I had a little bit of a credit and I was trying to get up to free shipping. I ordered the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Lipstick. This is one of the hot lips. So I've heard several people talk about these. Um, this is pricier. I think it was like 30 something dollars for a lipstick. This is in Super Cindy. Yeah, Super Cindy. Really pretty packaging, very fancy looking, fancy feeling. It feels weighty. Um, kind of a funky sort of a shape on this lipstick. I have not used this at all, so I really don't have any you know, feedback to share with you yet on it, other than I think it's expensive um but really really pretty oh i do have feedback it smells good that was the one thing that i noticed about it, it just immediately even looking at it i don't know why usually i open things and i immediately swatch them but i hadn't even swatched this one yet but i did notice the scent smells like vanilla smells very yummy just a really pretty warm toned nude it does feel very nice but you know this is something that color wise and even Kind of the formula you could probably find it at the drugstore. I got a couple of liquid lipsticks from Black Moon Cosmetics. These are the liquid to matte lipsticks. My friend Mallory, Mallory1712, talks about these and says this is one of like her favorite formulas, if not her very favorite formula of liquid lipsticks. So I got two different shades. I got Harvest and Grim. So really pretty packaging, just kind of like dark and dramatic, really, really pretty. Kind of reminds me of um, Dose of Colors. The little um, applicator thing is not the same. It's kind of a flat sort of situation, whereas Dose of Colors kind of is that like angled type of deal. Um, but like the outside thingy kind of reminds me of um, Dose of Colors. So, okay, the two different shades. So that is Harvest and that is Grim. 
really, really cool. I cannot wait to wear these for the fall. That straight up looks like a fall color. That just looks like edgy and amazing. Love it. I did wear this one for a little bit one afternoon and I like it so far. I think it's um, not quite like Ofra, not like, cause those transfer a little bit, but they're super duper comfortable. This transfers less, but not, but I wouldn't say it's quite as comfortable as the Ofra ones, but still comfortable. Like as far as liquid lipsticks go, I'm liking these so far, but I need to test them out a little bit more. So both just fun colors and I love the packaging. So I'm excited about these. Then Laura Geller was on QVC recently. So I picked up this, which side note, she said my name, which I couldn't even believe it. That was like the coolest thing ever because I love her. I think she's so fun and funny and down to earth and just seems so sweet. So when she said my name, I couldn't even believe it. So that was amazing. So anyway, I ordered this. This is the Filter Finish Setting Powder and this is in Universal. Came with a little brush as well. This is really cool. It's like um, kind of a, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe that, like a camo <laughs> kind of a design. Um, but when you like swirl it all together, it's kind of like a light sort of a situation. Um, so it's highlighty, but not super duper highlighty. So she was kind of setting the girl's faces like all over with it, just to kind of give that like glow all over. I would be afraid to do that because I already got some natural oil glow. But um, I was using this, I've, oh, click it shut. I have used this several times kind of like in this area of my face and I did like it there because it just added this like luminosity and subtle glow. So, so pretty. It looks pretty in the packaging. So I'm excited about this. Then BH Cosmetics had a sale recently and they always have sales going on, but it's usually when they do like a free shipping kind of a deal where it's, you don't have to spend as much to get free shipping. That's usually when I'll end up picking up a couple things I've been eyeing. Um, so I got the Foil Eyes 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. And then I got the BH Cosmetics Bronze Paradise Palette. So I'm gonna do a specific video on this one and do some swatches and just kind of do an overall review on this. Let me swatch a couple of these from the Foil Eyes um, Palette. So this is just a big old palette of foil shadows here. I really didn't need this, but I've heard some good things about it. Um, some of these feel really loose in the pan, so I don't really like that, but you know, I think this palette was like 12 bucks or something, so it's to be expected. My, they might not be like super duper glued in there, but they seem pretty stinking nice. I mean, some pretty foiled looking shadows here. So that's gorgeous. So I will take some pictures, put those on Instagram for you guys. Really, really pretty. So check there for more swatches of both of these palettes. Now we're switching gears into some PR stuff. So just an FYI, this stuff was sent to me, but these are all my own honest opinions. Okay, so Merle Norman has their new fall collection out. Two of these things were sent to me by Merle Norman and then I went and purchased two more of them. So they sent me the eyeshadow in Burgundy Chic and I went and purchased Purple Taupe, which is a luminous one. I have it upside down. There is that. And then they sent me one of their Lip Pencil Plus, and this is in Spiced Cider. And then I went and purchased the blush. This is the Lasting Cheek Color in Wild Ginger. Let me swatch all these for you. So starting right here, that one is Purple Haze. And then this one, what? That is so pretty. That is Burgundy Chic. Then that is the blush in Wild Ginger. This is what it looks like in the pan. Really pretty and the like packaging feels nice and weighty. And then there is that lip color. So it's like a two-sided kind of thing, which this brings back memories. Revlon used to have something like this, like way back when I first started working. My very first job was at Walgreens and I always wanted to work in the cosmetic department. And anytime the cosmetic girl wasn't there, they would let me work over there. And Revlon had some like two-sided sort of lip products that I loved and then they discontinued them. So that's going way back, way back. But I loved those. These seem really creamy and nice, 
really pretty color for fall. This looks like a really fun fall collection. So I am excited to play with these more. Looks like a really beautiful collection. I love Merle Norman. I think they're an overlooked makeup brand that has some really great stuff. So if you haven't been to a Merle Norman recently, I would say go check out the fall collection because I think it's really beautiful. And I have never tried anything from the brand Fiona Styles, but they were so sweet and contacted me and asked if I wanted to try out some goodies. And I said, absolutely, because I've never tried the brand, but they are gonna be carried on QVC now, which I think is so cool. And they're gonna be doing a little giveaway for us. So um, check down below for giveaway rules, but I thought that was really cool as well. So check below for that information. So they sent me three different products, the Soft Cheek Veil, the Light Illusion Prism Palette, and then the Color Impact Satin Lip Crayon. So let me do some swatches. Okay, starting with the blush, first I wanna talk about the packaging on these products. This is so luxurious and beautiful. So the outside box is gorgeous. It just is like a kind of like metallic purpley sort of color. This blush is in Maiden Lane, so I love that name too. It's just a cute girly name. Look at this. It's like kind of a little bit, you can sort of see it, look, you can see my fingerprints, but um, it sort of has like a dimension and like a, like a divot and a shape to it. So cool, really nice and weighty. So really beautiful, luxurious feeling packaging. Love the packaging on these products. This blush, is gorgeous. I wore this the other day. This is beautiful. It is just a gorgeous, like, kind of a glowy pink shade. It's got like this golden sheen to it. It is beautiful. Love that. So, so gorgeous. The um, Light Illusion Prism Palette is also beautiful in the packaging. Kind of has the same sort of situation, like it's kind of I don't know, it has like a cool geographic, um, geographic, geometrical, <laughs> not geographic, geometrical sort of a shape to it. Really cool. This is what this looks like. So a really pretty kind of highlighter palette. Now these are more, um, not super subtle, but I would say a little bit more subtle everyday kind of highlights, which I like that too. You know, that's a deal with like makeup products is that not everybody wants a red lipstick or not everybody wants a hot pink lipstick, but if that's what you're looking for, it's nice to have that variety in makeup products. So not everybody wants a crazy, whoa highlight. And these are more of like a beautiful, subtle, glowy highlight. They are pigmented, they are really nice and creamy, but they're not crazy metallic. So if you are wanting a little bit more subtle, but like beautiful, glowy highlight, I think you would really like those. I think they're beautiful, and it's nice it has the different like color options in there, but the packaging is like, I cannot get over that. So amazing. And then lastly, the lip color, the Color Impact Satin Lip Color. This is in Bonnie Bray, super cute name. It's a really pretty kind of like, I don't know, wine burgundy sort of color. This smells good, it smells like vanilla. It's a nice crayony kind of a lip product, so Super easy, throw it in your purse. This is a really pretty color for color, <laughs> really pretty color for fall, just gorgeous. I really like that. So I'm impressed with all these products. They seem really, really beautiful, nice quality, beautiful packaging. And then Ofra has some new duo chromes and triple chrome liquid lipsticks. So first the duo chromes, I got the little trio, super cute there. So there is Utopia, Atlantis, and Wonderland. Look how pretty these are. They are just beautiful in the packaging. Just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let me arrange these correctly. So Utopia, Atlantis, and then Wonderland. Utopia, Atlantis, Wonderland. So there they are swatched right there. Really pretty. Atlantis is my favorite. It's kind of like a peachy sort of a shade. Really beautiful. These are my favorite liquid lipsticks. I've mentioned that before. I think they're just super duper comfortable and they have so many gorgeous colors. So if you've not tried them yet, definitely give them a try because they're awesome. Then these are the triple chromes. These are a little bit out there. I'd have to be feeling a little bit sassy, a little bit artistic to wear these. Um, there is Fantasia and then Emerald City. 
Of the two, Fantasia, which is this one um, on this side, this one I would feel more comfortable wearing. So Fantasia is kind of like a more purpley kind of a shade is the main color in it, but then it has kind of like a burgundy, silvery sort of shift. Emerald City, now that is out there. <laughs> That is a different sort of color. It's like a golden green burgundy. I would love that as a shadow, but on the lips, I'd be a little scared of that. But I think it's cool. I think it's cool and creative. And if you're looking for something different, these are definitely different. So I like it when brands do something artsy and out of the box, even though it might not be something I'd wear every day, like a blue lipstick. I still like blue lipstick because it's artsy and creative. So. I probably won't wear these every day, but I still think they're artsy and creative and different. An influencer sent me the YSL Beauty Vinyl Cream Creamy Stain Vox Box, so I got it in 412 Rose Mix. So previously I had tried um, Carmine Session or something like that that I got through Octoly, and I wasn't totally sure about that one. Like I couldn't really decide how I felt about it. Um, but I'm liking Rose Mix a lot more. And I think it's just because of the color. Like, I just like this color in this kind of a formula better than Carmen Session, which I picked that color, so I just kind of picked wrong. Um, this one was just picked for me and sent to me, but I like this one a lot more. It's like a rosy red sort of a color. So I like, it just looks girly and sweet and glossy on the lips. And it is long wearing and it does have a really pretty stain. I like the stain on this one better than the other color. So I'm liking this a lot more. So it's basically just kind of a, like a creamy glossy stain. So the gloss um, and kind of like shiny look stays around for, oh, I don't even know. I haven't like test like, looked at the time like I've tested it but I haven't like watched the time stays around for a little bit but the stain that is left behind that stays pretty much all day so I really do like that so I'm liking this a lot more it's a pricier product because it's YSL but um if I were to go out and like purchase one now having tested them this is the one that I would get because I really do like this color a lot in this formula if my hand looks a little bit jacked up now it's because I straight up had to scrub to get that stain off because it like instantly stained my hand. And then apparently I scratched myself in the process. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but okay. And then lastly from Octoly, I was sent a couple lip glosses um, from Mally through Octoly. I was sent some lip glosses from Mally. Okay, so this is Pink Daisy and this one is Orchid Berry. Really pretty packaging on these, very nice. Um, these are just a nice gloss. Like uh, the pink one, Pink Daisy, is a pretty kind of light, nudie sort of a gloss. So, you know, you have to be looking for a light, nudie sort of a gloss. And then the other one, Orchid Berry, this has a lot more pigment to it. So this one is more of like a beautiful, kind of purpley, I'm just describing while I'm swatching. I could have swatched this ahead of time for y'all. That would have been a better idea. So there they are, <laughs> there are the swatches. That's the lighter one that is um, Pink Daisy and the darker one is Orchid Berry. Really pretty, comfortable, not sticky, um, you know, not super duper long wearing because they're not super sticky, but I like the formula on these. So it's all about what you're looking for in a lip gloss. So those are very nice. I think they're pretty and I really like the packaging. Surprise outfit change. Okay, so I had already filmed this whole video and then this came in the mail. So I definitely wanted to show you guys this. So I went ahead and filmed it a different day. So It Cosmetics is coming to Sephora, which is so exciting. So they sent me this huge box. It's gonna make my camera go crazy, but it says new color infused skincare featuring your Bye Bye collection exclusively at Sephora. So apparently these are going to be products that are only gonna be at Sephora. So let me run through them real quick. So there's the Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I already know I love, love, love this. This is a lifesaver when I do lip swatch videos. It just removes makeup so well without stripping your skin or your face or your lips or whatever you're removing makeup from. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream and it says smooths, brightens, and depuffs. 
Can't wait to try that. I love this thing. This is the, if I can get it out of here. I hulked it out of there. <laughs> okay, so this is the Je Ne Sais Quoi, and this is in Your Perfect Pink. So it's just kind of like a nice hydrating balm for your lips, but it kind of reacts to your natural pH levels to kind of give you your perfect pink lip color. Love this, it's super duper hydrating. Um, this is the Bye Bye Lines Serum, Advanced Anti-Aging Wrinkle Smoothing Miracle Concentrate. What? Never tried this, can't wait to try that. There is the Anti-Aging Armor, Super Smart Skin Perfecting Beauty Fluid and it looks like it's um, SPF 50, so that's awesome. Can't wait to try that too. There is the Bye Bye Pores Primer, Oil-Free Poreless Skin Perfecting Serum Primer. I love Bye Bye Pores, like all their Bye Bye Pores stuff is awesome, so I will give that a try. I already know I love this. The, um, let me get this. The Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. This does a great job at concealing the under eyes, but also adding a little bit of like a glow and a luminosity there. So it's really pretty on the skin, really nice coverage on it too. Love the packaging also. It's just really pretty to look at. And then lastly, this is the Heavenly Skin CC Plus Skin Perfecting Brush, number 702, groundbreaking anti-aging skincare infused brush hair. So that is really cool. I've never heard of anything like that. They just think of the neatest things. I mean, they are so innovative. So I will try all these products out. I already shared thoughts on the things I already know I love, but the other things I haven't tried, I'll try them out, form some thoughts, and definitely get back with you guys. All right, guys, so that is everything for this haul and PR show and tell video. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on any of these products. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!